Breaking news update on a story we told you about this morning. We're learning more now about the victim of a New Year's Eve shootout at a hookah lounge in Ukrainian village. The man who was killed was the bouncer at the lounge. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman spoke with his family. <laughs> Latoya Wade says she had to see for herself the space her son's father lost his life. And I just had to come and see where this bar was because I just can't believe it. Austin McAllister, a father of six, a personal trainer and an army vet, was working as a bouncer at the Lion's Den Hookah Lounge New Year's Eve. Hardworking. Um, he's a he served the country. Um, <laughs> he was just out here trying to make a living for his children. Police say overnight the suspect forced his way into the lounge with a gun. When that suspect wasn't allowed inside, he opened fire at the doorway. Police say two men fired back. The guy couldn't get in the uh, bar last night, so um, he was telling him that he couldn't get in, and the guy just took his life, just shot him. Wade says McAllister later died at Stroger Hospital. Police say another man in his 20s was also hurt, but is expected to be OK. Video from outside the lounge shows dozens of first responders closing down the street to traffic. Oh. Wade sharing she's having a hard time processing. Just go find another bar to go to. Why would you take someone's life because you couldn't get in? Oh my God, I just can't believe this. Records show the hookah lounge opened here on Division in 2020. Online, it advertises a New Year's Eve party. Inside, the decorations are still left hanging of the celebration cut short. For weeks, Wade says she'd been warning her son's father his job could be dangerous. You just never know. And now she says it's too late. It's getting dangerous. It's just senseless killings one after another is, is too much. Police say surveillance video shows the suspect taking off in a light colored SUV and heading west on division. So far, no one is in custody. We have reached out to the owners of the lounge for comment and have not yet heard back. Reporting in Ukrainian Village, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. McAllister's twin brother was also working at the lounge at that time and saw the shooting. Police recovered at least one gun on scene and are still reviewing surveillance video tonight.